Welcome to uh, today's Technical Corner. I'm joined by Ross Milne from Ram Engineering and Tooling. Um, Ross, we've got a really good uh, machine or a machine range that we're going to be talking about um, today. Uh, firstly, this particular Technical Corner, we'll be talking about this brand, which yep. is Weingartner, in, in more detail mm -hmm. or in a lot of detail. And then what we'll do is we'll do some separate, shorter Technical Corners on the specifics. Yep. Um, but firstly, welcome to, uh, welcome to this uh, Technical Corner, Ross. Tell us about this brand, uh, Weingartner, because it is quite fascinating in what, yeah. what the machines are capable of. Yeah. Well, Weingartner, it's actually in its third generation owned by the same family at the moment. It's Dominic Weingartner, who's the, the, the MD currently. But the uh, the machine tool range that we're, we're looking at currently is the, the MPMC range. And it's probably the most versi versatile machine on the market at the moment. The, the whole idea with Weingartner is they make it modular. They've got a lot of their own um, uh, copyrighted um, equipment heads, um, whether it's heads, whether it's spindles, whether it's steadies, they make 90 to 95% of the, the machine themselves internally. But we are talking essentially about multitasking technology. Absolutely, aren't we? absolutely. Yeah, so dual spindles yeah. if necessary. Absolutely. Milling heads, but it kind of goes beyond that. I mean, there's a lot of this style of machine in the marketplace. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'd like to explore is what makes these machines a little bit different and some of the features yeah. um, that are quite exciting about them. For sure, for sure. I think Probably the first main thing to point out that does make it different. Um, we're not talking about a slant bed machine with a with a fork style five axis head on the top. We're talking about if you imagine a combined machine which is a horizontal borer with a travelling column in the background and a swiveling B axis coming off of a ram. Well, this is this is the idea, the concept behind the MPMC range of machinery. So it really does lend itself to um, to being really versatile. Um, really modular, it can drop off heads and pick up other heads, but it doesn't compromise at all on rigidity. Is that because of that RAM style? Because we talk about that with travelling column machines, that that's where you get strength Correct. Uh, from. So, Correct. so that really means that you've got a, a turning machine yep. with a fully functional milling Absolutely. capability as well, Absolutely. doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, the, the milling power that we can have um, within the, the head itself um, we're up to 60 kilowatt spindle motors on the milling side. Likewise, we can drop off that milling head. We could pick up a high speed milling head without compromising the machine in any way, an electro spindle basically, and we could, we could go up to 15, 20,000 RPM without batting an eyelid. So you're getting the best of both worlds all the time. It's horses for courses with these machines, i.e. you give us a product and you need, maybe maybe you've got some titanium within the product, maybe you've got some aluminium. Well, you can get the best of both worlds instead of having to compromise and get one spindle that will potentially do both, not quite so well, get a dedicated spindle for each. You, you, you mentioned to me about the companies that have these in the UK. And there's, yeah. there's quite a few of them, but they yeah. are quite niche, aren't they? Yes. Where, where, where's this going to service? Where's it going to fit? Okay. Um, Really, the aim for the MPMC side of it, the MPMC range that we're we're talking about right now, is is really for anywhere. Which is, which is what we're seeing here, is which it? is what you're seeing here just now. Yeah. So the the oil industry, um, any um, uh, compressor manufacturers, um, railway wheels, th this type of thing, anything that's high value or highly complex is where Weingartner shines. So talk to me about this. Yeah, this is, a, this is a new feature we've got on the, the MPMC range. This is for doing um, seat pockets for the oil industry. So basically the tool here, you insert the tool into the job, then there's an actuator, so which simulates a quill on a boring machine, which will then move and allow the blades to move out into the job. Then you can do seat pockets, back boring, things like that. Bear in mind that this is Inconel clad, so this is, this is seriously tough material to cut and the machine copes with it absolutely. It does, no vibrations. I mean, it's, 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 it's a hell of an operation, isn't it? Absolutely. And absolutely. when I look at some of these heads and these boring bars as well, though, they're obviously yep. then housed yes. above the headstock? In all different places. Again, it depends on the, the application that we're looking at. If you're looking for a machine that can do absolutely everything, then we have to be careful where we put things. If you're looking for a very specific machine, for example, the, the, the ABU 400 contouring heads, um, they can go above the spindle. Sometimes they need to go at the back of the machine, depending on what other features you want to have within your machine. What about the, the, the one that fascinated me as well that we were looking at is this one for wheel, railway wheel manufacturing. Yeah. Because yeah. so I, I've been to many companies around, or well, one that I can specifically yeah. think of that's making these wheels, but they're yes. using vertical lathes. But yeah. This, yeah. this is doing it in a horizontal format then, isn't it? It is, yeah. Basically what we did, um, or what 
Weingartner did rather in this case is they instead of going for a, a main spindle and a sub spindle they've gone for two main spindles a right hand and a left hand what happens is the forgings get loaded in at the back into the main spindle then we'll do some facing we'll do some boring we'll do some OD turning then the two spindles will kiss in the middle very very tightly before there's any release to make sure that the tolerances are kept that will release the second side will be completed on the on the right hand spindle and um, while the next one's getting loaded in at the other side there's a lot of weight in those wheels though to be that transferred from one chuck to a chuck is is it secure that process yeah, absolutely because the because the two spindles it's not a sub spindle it's not a compromise on this side it's two main spindles so when they push together push together with enough force that there's no there's no drop there's no drop with the part one grabs before the other one releases so there's no issues there at all. And you could use the machines essentially as independent machines themselves. So all, you, you, although although you they can. are, as you say, kissing to, to yep. change the part over, yep. but you could do their independent B-axis heads. Co independent co correct, correct. It's got, it's got two independent B-axis heads. So you've got the turning capability and the milling capability, but full milling capability because they are their own milling spindles. Um, but essentially, as you mentioned, they are compar compartmentalised. You've got your left hand spindle working and your right hand spindle working in its own area. Fantastic. No loss um, of time. The the other the other aspect was the the trochoidal milling yes. that you're doing on, on again on, on harder materials yeah. where you don't want the column to be moving in, in, in this way, do you? Because Absolutely. that that's going to affect the machine's life as well as many other things. For sure, for sure. I mean we all know that trochoidal milling is is fantastically um, good for your tooling, gives fantastic life. Um, you can pull a lot of material out of out of uh, a job very very quickly with trochoidal milling. But if you imagine a machine of this size, um, its ram and column moving in this motion constantly, um, that's a lot of wear when it's in a specific small area. So what Weingartner have done is they've actually made a head which houses its own three axes inside the head. So it'll drop off its main milling spindle. It'll pick up the trochoidal head move to the position so your column and your ram move to the position and they stop and they're stationary there um, and the head itself does the trochoidal milling um, motion itself and what options would be uh, available to people that were interested in a machine of, of this nature boss okay the the Weingartner itself obviously we can do turning obviously we can do milling but with the the, the fact that we can drop heads off I've mentioned we can do high speed milling and um, we can pick up angle heads we can do deep hole drilling on center so the main spindle is the is the rotary and um, but we can also we can also swap it around and do, do ejector drilling through the milling spindle so the milling spindle is doing the rotation and the part is sitting static um, uh, we have other things like whirling heads so we can drop off the milling head pick up a whirling head if, to do parts like this just as an example um, adjustable boring bars we can for, for large deep bores we actually have its own separate unit where the, the boring bar itself can adjust in and out mm. again rigidity steadies like this that are Absolutely. following the, the steadies steadies we, spin. we do up and over steadies um, for larger component parts we also do hydrostatic steadies again these are we do use other manufacturer steadies from time to time um, but Weingartner tend to manufacture the majority of their steadies because it's normally quite bespoke parts that we're machining. So we actually have hydrostatic steadies as well. So there's no, there's nothing holding it in. The part is big enough and weighty enough that it sits basically on a bed of oil. There's no contact with the, with the, the part itself. Really what we're saying by this type of machine is where manufacturers are moving parts around machine shops to do various operations on different machines, whether it be yep. turning, milling, yep. eliminating all that Absolutely. by just using one cell, Absolutely. which can, can cater for it all um, a lot of technical expertise needed for something like this Ross is this, is this what RAM's about I mean absolutely you know absolutely. what's the lead time how are yeah. you going to spec this to yeah. suit the customer well I mean we enjoy getting the, the the chance to quote on any machine but we tend to where we where RAM try to excel is we we get a drawing from a customer be that for the smallest machine or for a machine like this we get a drawing what's the best way for me to manufacture that that's always the way that we work with Vingarner there's drawings first, we work out the best way of doing it, the optimal way of doing it, and then we, we try and find out where that happy medium is for the customer on cost, on performance, and what we're offering as the optimum. And, mm. and, and it's a technical sale. It's a technical sale, it's a technical application, and it's not a case of, here's your machine, off you go. It's here's your machine, let's work.
Yeah, it's a solution. It truly Absolutely. is a solution. A fantastic plant there. That's the uh, Vine Gartner range available from Ram. Uh, talk to Ross here. You can contact him. His website. We'll put the details on the screen as well. That's it for today's uh, technical corner. Thank you very much, Ross. Thank you.